effect calling for peace moving forward. Congressman Emanuel Cleaver is a member of the Congressional Black Caucus. He is outside the Justice Department right now where the CBC, the Congressional Black Caucus, is actually gathering for what I believe will be a protest march uh, shortly. Congressman, give me a sense, your immediate goal and just your reaction to the words you just heard from the Attorney General. Well, um, yesterday after at our weekly uh, Congressional Black Caucus luncheon, uh, members were frustrated and they were getting calls from home, particularly from millennials, saying, you know, you guys have told us all these years, you know, to raise our hands, say yes, sir, and so forth. But that's, that doesn't work anymore and they're, and they're killing us. So everybody was concerned. We decided that we would deliver a letter to uh, the, the uh, Attorney General and ask General Lynch if she would uh, uh, move uh, with federal uh, authority to look into these matters. We are concerned that in some of these instances, we're going to probably need to have special prosecutors, and we may need to try to even get that into, into law if we can ever get together on criminal uh, justice reform. Uh, so we, we marched here. We uh, are now, uh, members are, are talking to the press. Uh, Maxine Waters is now talking. Yeah, we're, we're Chair G.K. Butterfield just finished. And, uh, you know, uh, people are demanding a lot of things. Congressman. Uh, one of the things we, you know, we keep hearing is about body cameras, and uh, it is little known. I'm not sure why it, it has never gotten the, uh, the exposure, but uh, Congressman Al Green and I went to uh, former Speaker John Boehner yeah. in the last uh, two years ago and said, uh, Mr. Speaker, we need to get body cameras. Congressman, he let said, me... I support body cameras. We were able to get a House resolution to pass where the House went on record supporting body cameras, and he sent us to, sp to speak to... Uh, the chair of the uh, Judiciary Committee, uh, Mr. Bob Goodlett, and we were able to get, little known, $22 million yeah. uh, for body cameras. Congressman, let me interrupt. And it's in the budget. I, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I just want to get a sense, obviously, because so much of the, the urgency, given what's happened in recent days, now relates directly to the conversation that's taking place on the campaign trail. Just this morning, Donald Trump, you likely heard, offered some more details on his view of the tension between police and African Americans in this country. Here's part of what he said, and I want to get your reaction on the other side. The people who will suffer the most as a result of these riots are law-abiding African-American residents who live in these communities where the crime is so rampant. It's their jobs, housing markets, schools, economic conditions that will suffer. And the first duty of government is to protect their well-being and safety. Congressman, in effect, what Donald Trump says is that this law enforcement, this law and order effort is really to help protect African Americans in the inner cities and throughout this country. Is that a satisfying message and one that you're confident in? Well, I'm, I'm glad that, that Mr. Trump uh, made the comments he made today. I don't know if that will cancel out the fact that he has openly during this campaign supported stop and frisk, which has been debunked as ineffective all over the country. And secondly, um, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the other part of it is that, um, you know, he, he supported, uh, he asked for the death penalty on five African-American men who ended up uh, not guilty of what was called the central part uh, rape. Of course. Uh, and rape. And so I, I hope that can, you know, that, that uh, his, uh, interest and concern will continue. Uh, there's no question that, the, the, look, you know, the only way we're going to solve this problem is not if African Americans uh, protest and demand uh, some action, but unfortunately, it's not going to happen until the majority yeah, of political uh, action people has of to... goodwill who are not black uh, begin to. Uh, speak out against this. Congressman Cleaver, I hate to keep interrupting you. I was having trouble hearing you at times. Thank you very much, and we wish you best of luck in your protest today. We'll be watching. Thank you. Uh, I want to get to Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.